Hey, hi, hello, welcome back to my new video. This is Sampath. You are watching Sampath SamFX YouTube channel, and this is Poco X3 custom ROM reviews. You can see this is an official Pixel OS update has been received. This is an Android 13. You can see here January 5th, 2023 is the latest security patch available. Kernel user is 4.14.290 Sunday, January 22nd. This is the latest available build for Poco X, and good thing is this is an official ROM and I have been running the CPU throttling test you can see here for last 3 minutes 34 seconds and 4 milliseconds you can see the scores the maximum is 192 and average is 176 and minimum is 126 at least 5 minutes is necessary ok it is throttled according to this it is throttled to 72% of its max performance which is good if I run more time it will be even better but I was charging the smartphone to test whether the fast charging is supported or not the good thing is it is supported the 33 watt charging support is there as you can see this charging support is there which is good thing in this particular rom a really good rom you can definitely use it as a daily driver and you can see here this is the home screen setup you get and this new wallpapers like wallpapers and style if i change wallpapers these wallpapers have been given the feathers and community you get plenty of wallpapers here and you see the ui interface how smooth it is as you can see wallpaper colors basic colors combination of colors and single colors you will get a dark theme again you get option here okay i'll show you in the settings and themed icons has been given app grid you get up to 5 into 5 here and you can see how smooth the ui is you get this widgets also and into home settings you get a pixel launcher at a glance is also working fine some of the other options you can enable or disable from here and there's a quick settings panel as you can see and how smooth the ui is you get all the options here if you want you can drag and add here as you can see it's also very smooth even adding them also is a very good experience in my opinion you can see here and i have like 100 mps fiber connection it's pulling 91 mbps which is good in my opinion even the 4g plus carrier aggregation support is also available here and this is the volume panel you get on direct video call feature is available and there is even a call recording feature that will work fine no problem regarding that and moving to some of the benchmark is like geekbench here 535 is the single score and 1629 is the multi-score which i got in this particular rom and uh, linux 4.14.290 is the kernel use here which is good uh, scores could have been better but that's the usual score we get in the typical AOSP ROMs in Mewware ROMs you might get a little bit better score CPU throttling test I already explained and I have installed this Arnova build Gcam if you want you can use other builds also you don't get here ANX camera that's the one thing you need to keep in mind because in Evolution X the, those things will be implemented but here it's not available ANX camera many people are fan of that particular ROM I do understand but smoothness on this UI is really good here and it's an official build you might get updates the previous build was also very good for this pixel OS and regarding uh, Google Maps and Google Photos Unlimited Storage those are working fine here no problem regarding that let me want to show this uh, split screen options as you can see just use this split top and bottom it's looks very cool here it's going to work fine here that's how it is and if i go into some of the other options like android auto like i don't want this go to happen for here and disable this app you can almost all you can uninstall and delete that if you want you can add them from place to that's quite interesting here that's good thing you can definitely use this rom and if i go into settings as you can see there is a minor stutter here and then only in the this panel i have noticed this from last couple of hours i have been noticing this and you can see the smoothness in the settings panel is also very very good in my opinion apps again you get a default apps from here if you want to choose the browser app certain different you can choose from here as you can see and battery again you can see the usage you have isn't recorded here okay screen has been given but we don't see any uh, chart here that's how it is but it's a very good in terms of battery life also it's very good i did not see any draining here extreme battery saver also you can get and you can schedule out the battery saver options notifications again these things will be same here in any usb roms 
sound and vibration again you get plenty of options here additional settings you get these things you can enable or disable vibration haptics you can enable or disable there is no option to intensity i mean the intensity of the vibration you can't adjust and even there is no patterns like dz uh, those things just you can enable or disable from here and display again peak refresh rate you get 120 mm kept to 60 it's not 30 to 120 that you need to keep in mind tap to wake and tap to sleep both should work but here as you can see only in the quick settings panel it will work and tap to wake is working fine however that things should be there here tap to wake on anywhere on the screen has been mentioned but it's not working here full screen apps if certain app is not playing in the full screen you can use it out and icon manager has also implemented here and dark theme as i said before you get a pure black background it's in now pitch black condition this is how it looks if you don't want that you can disable it out but i definitely need that that's really good in my opinion they added that and moving into accessibility menu which is a handy feature you should definitely try this out without actually using the physical buttons you can toggle the volume and even without dragging like this you can access the notification toggle like as you can see the quick settings also you can toggle that's a cool handy feature in my opinion you should definitely try this out i am the only person who will tell this for all the videos if you're first time to this channel hit that subscribe button down below guys and also all of the bell notification by pressing the bell icon if you like the video give it a like and these things other options has been given and display and size and text i have increased a lot because it was very very tiny because of that some may don't like it also i have increased it you also do the same vibration and haptics other options have been included here and security you get face unlock and fingerprint unlock rom is encrypted no app lock option has been given let me show you the fingerprint unlock speed and that wobbling effect is still available as you can see and the face unlock is also very very quick in my opinion as you can see it's going to unlock within a fraction of seconds which is good in my opinion these things should be present in any custom room they should be basic needs those are working fine even in the dialer i haven't faced any echo or anything like that dual stereo speakers are also working fine here and moving into some of the other settings like security have been completed privacy again camera access microphone access notification lock screen you can customize here ignore this flags and under system intelligence those things you should definitely try it out usage and diagnostics you should enable that now moving into other like uh, into system into gestures into gesture navigation as you can see you don't get any option to increase the gesture bar length and radius that's quite obvious it's on google pixel os then you should don't get those options here and uh, if you want to go back to two button three button you can go it out and one handed mode as you can see it's also working fine three finger screenshot is also working fine here no problem regarding that quick touch if you want you can enable that and press and hold power button you can use that and an advanced restart button is also available here which is good thing in my opinion you can directly boot into recovery by using that and let's see pubg mobile how it handles in this particular rom you guys can see here the graphic settings set to smooth plus ultra only nothing fancy here but the gameplay is very smooth uh, according to 40 fps it's fine actually as you can see it takes a little bit of time to adjust this rom and you guys definitely missed that evolution x uh, anx camera support yes that's not available here anx camera but apart from that everything is as similar as evolution x just customizations are not given yes it's a pixel os then you can't ex expect those things why are you hiding here it is actually good if you know how to enable 90 fps in this particular rom then it's going to be even better in my opinion that's how it is actually the rom is very very good in this particular game also and even while day to day tasks are also working fine as you can see i really like this rom and it's an official if you are running the older version if you are seeking to update it then go ahead and update it and some of the other people like evolution x is good then they can use the evolution x with nx camera support but if you don't want that if you want clean and clean ui then you can try this rom also everything is working fine i haven't faced any issues here definitely it's a handy rom you can definitely try it out as a dialer that's my verdict i will meet you with another interesting video until that keep smelling bye bye for now